special um, Veterans Day podcast. So, hey, Greg. He's our lighting director, you know, from CNN Center. So we're here at Fort Benning in Georgia. They're getting ready to set up for a big town hall meeting that um, Clark Howard and your friends at HLN that we're having to help soldiers kind of with their unique um, financial situations. You know, you think about it. Um, half of their family might be in Iraq or Afghanistan. The rest of their family's here. You know, how do you make the finances work? So I wanted to take you along and show you. Come on. Clark Howard. This man knows, first of all, so much about what you're all going through. He's with the, um, don't, don't tell me, State of Georgia Defense Force. Did I get it right? It's close enough. Yeah. <laughs> State Guard is what they told me to yeah. say. But we know that because of the nature of your job, your questions and your concerns and your, um, the problems that you come across financially are unique to the general audience. And so that's why Clark wanted to come here today to speak with you. I'm way over here with Staff Sergeant Isaac Rios. Thank you for your service. And he heard you talk about TSP. And he wants to know about some other good investments. This is Colonel Hall Boyer. She's retiring from the reserve about five years from retirement, okay? And she has a question about coming up on retirement. I just bought a house. And I have a question. Thanks. Have a question. Do you think it's a good idea to join the Sands Club or to bargain shop for groceries? This is behind the scenes. We're taping the show. This is Clark Howard's special. And I just wanted to show you some of this. There were a lot of questions. Um, but we also did a signing for my book. So um, just follow me. This is Leo. I was upset when I didn't see you this morning on the news. And Uh-oh. I didn't I hear you were going to be here. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe it. You have um, a long history of expressing gratitude to soldiers that is not based on some kind of PR puff thing, because you do it one time. This is a very important thing to you. Why is this so important to you? Every morning we do a salute to the troops. It's it's once an hour, and generally it can be someone who's in the military, but you know who it generally is? It's family members who are generally missing their loved one because they might be deployed overseas, or even just at another base where they can't be. And it just touches my heart because because, you know, we know that the men and women in the uniform sacrifice so much, but sometimes we don't really hear about the family stories. And they sacrifice just as much because for months at a time, you're deployed. Hey, Robin, this is uh, Captain Grace from uh, Fort Benning, Georgia. I just want to give a salute to Socrates Rosenfeld. He's over in Iraq. Um, Moo, Emily, and Al, we're all rooting for you. Come back safe. Uh, and we'll see you when you're back. Is that thing on? Yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to ask that. <laughs> um, this is Laramie Bertolino, and I'm Captain Jamie Bertolino. And we'd like to thank uh, everyone for their support. We're newlyweds, and uh, it's been really hectic lately. And uh, a lot of people have worked around their schedules uh, to make it special. And uh, working around their schedules to make it special when we come back and actually have a ceremony. And I'd like to thank my wife most of all because the wives back here make so many sacrifices that so many people, uh, it never makes the news, so I hope this does, because the wives are making more sacrifices than most of us out there. Honey, what would you like to say? <laughs> That's all, thank uh, you. <laughs> you've been to a number of Army posts, Fort Bragg, Fort Sam Houston, Fort Campbell. Mm -hmm. Doing different stories there, um, salute to the troops in another form. You know, at Fort Sam Houston, we were visiting um, amputees, people um, who were obviously in the service, and then had something happen where they, they were amputees. That's a great, great facility there, BAMC. Fort Bragg, we were there doing a Memorial Day special. Fort Campbell, we were there, I think, doing a Veterans Day special. Now we're at Fort Ben. Clark got asked a lot of questions from the military members. What do you think was the question that really sticks out that probably applies to everybody, military or not? It's how to save money. You know, this is a change from even two years ago. When I'd go give an open forum, nobody ever asked me how to save money. Ever? No. Well, yeah. you have the occasional person. But for the most part, it was like, well, I'm looking for a new car. I'm thinking of buying a new TV. It was all about what they were going to buy. And what's different now, and what was just as clear here as I've seen so much lately, it's like... Our mindset's different. Right. Yeah. And I think this is a real change. There are a lot of cynics who say, this is just a temporary deal. Mm -mm. This is the real deal. Gotcha. 